So would you tell them kind of what the, the thought is for your science fair project and then we'll show them kind of what we started doing. Okay, well I was thinking of like, well my mom and I were driving in the car and it, it was definitely an interesting place to think it up, but yeah. um, we came up with two questions and one was that um, what what causes water to expand? And the other was one was, um, are there any household liquids other than water that would expand when frozen? And then later my science teacher changed it, but okay, so. That's good, okay. but science teachers have to change a little bit because they <laughs> gotta get in there and, and get it fixed. I think the interesting thing is that um, your hypothesis was, is there any other liquid? Because we know, mm -hmm. we go back to science yeah. class, that everything uh, it contracts when it gets cold. Molecules get closer together. Water is this amazing property, has this amazing property. Let us show you what the setup was for this whole thing. So take a look at that. Mark, I'm gonna put the styrofoam cup there. And why are we using styrofoam? Because it is a good, it, well, it is a, um, not or a good insulator of It is heat. a good insulator, absolutely. So there's our liquid nitrogen, 320 degrees below zero. And so we took these graduated cylinders, and the reason you use the graduated cylinders, tell them a little bit about the measurements on the side. Well, they um, they have milliliter markings on the side, so it's easier to say, okay, this liquid went up, this liquid contracted, oh, exactly. and so forth and so forth. So we have water in this one here, so here's water at the 14 milliliter mark, and that's gonna go down inside right there. Good. No, sir. And then this, tell them what this liquid is. This I, is. Um, this is windshield wiper fluid, but we're calling it methyl alcohol. That's right. Oh, so okay. it has right. a pretty good content uh, quantity of methyl oh, alcohol, all right. and that's going to okay. sit inside there. So we're just going to let it sit there and kind of do its thing, see how it's little bubbling all mm -hmm. over the place. All right. So let's show them what happened Watch here on finger, all of these. Mm -hmm. the The water started the uh, the water started to expand, right? Uh -huh. and, and what happened a minute into it? Should we show everybody what yes. this looks like? This the, is our graduated yeah, this, cylinder. That was water. It Holy expanded. Mackerel. It expanded not only upward like we were hoping it would, but it expanded outward. That's right. And so it broke immediately. So even though it was open, not a closed container it shattered this way. So what else shattered? What were some the, other things um, in your The notes? ammonia that we tested. That we tested. Ammonia also. It, ammonia also, 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide. Oxide, yeah. Uh, isopropyl alcohol, you would think of isopropyl, uh, when everybody thinks alcohol, they think it's not going to freeze right, and so forth. Yeah. But tell them wh what the thought was behind that. Well, it um, it was 70% isopropyl alcohol, 30% um, water. And then, um, so, it um it broke when it froze. It did it did break. Should we show them this one here? Can you uh, hold? Let me right. put this in some water okay. here so we can kind of see what's going on. Will you hold that up for everybody up there and kind of show them? We were at the ten milliliter mark, and what can you see there with your experiment? Well, I, I need to turn it around. Oh, you need to turn okay, it around. Okay, and it is at the about ten, say f ten and at fourteen. Fifth. 14, Anymore. about 14? 14, 14 yeah. milliliters. Right. So you can see that expansion yeah. that's there. Right. So these things, we did see a little contraction. So ethanol, we saw some contraction and motor oil and those mm -hmm. kinds of things. So if somebody has a lawn and they decided they're not gonna blow out the sprinkler system, even though that one of the heads is open, what did you learn? Well, it can, it can expand and crack anyways. Exactly. Mark, would you show them what we have here? This would be an example of the explosive power of water. Take a look at that water pipe. There's the crack in it. So all we did I mean, was we just submerged ruptured it. that sucker. It did. We it submerged did. it and sealed both ends and dropped it into some liquid nitrogen. In about two and a half minutes, it kind of went off like a small little bomb, yeah. which and is not unusual for the Sheridan or Englewood municipalities <laughs> to hear at the Spangler yeah, uh, today place on the Rapaho Road. That's yes. right. But isn't that an amazing? It is piece? amazing. And we can take a look here. Let's see if there's and anything. Now, oh, take a look at that. Frozen. The frozen. And and we can and see that we're down just a little bit on our ethanol yeah, and we're up a little bit on our water. water.